Welcome back. In this video, we will be talking about how to use ChatGPT with Google Collab. So before I get started on how to use ChatGPT with Google Collab, let me uh, go through some use cases which would be beneficial within the Google Collab environment, especially when you write code. So the examples are the use cases where Google Collab would be useful. Uh, uh, actually, ChatGPT with Google Collab would be useful, would be number one, to explain code. So you have code within your Collab notebook and you want an easy way to explain it. ChatGPT could definitely help there. The other use case is to make code simple. So you have uh, lots of lines of code and you want to make it simple or you want to refactor it, then uh, ChatGPT could uh, possibly help you there. Let's assume you've been struggling with something, especially uh, code, and you want to fix it. ChatGPT could give you some ideas, possibly even fix a bug. If you're too lazy to write comments, guess what? You could use ChatGPT again. You know, you don't want to think through that code again. You've been working on it for a while, and ChatGPT could do a pretty decent job writing comments. Okay, so let's go through how to use ChatGPT with Google Collab. Step one is to install a Chrome plugin. Thankfully, there's a Chrome plugin which works with Google Collab. You can install that. You open up the notebook. You find an icon where ChatGPT gets activated within the notebook and just use it. So let's go straight into the first step. The first step is to find that Chrome plugin. It's called ChatGPT for Google Collab. So do search. Either go to the Chrome Web Store or just on Google. You can do a search for chat gpt for google collab and um <clears throat> there's apparently around 4000 users already using it so it's not net new and i think it's not that buggy so it's useful uh and after you do that let me use my laser here after you do that you should find that icon on your uh you know on your chrome browser on the tab uh, after your bookmark sorry after your uh, navigation bar you should you should see that icon showing up the co which stands for collab and uh which means it's activated so once you open up uh, google collab you should see uh that uh icon or uh, that uh, hover only icon let's uh, let's open up a uh, google notebook for a bit let me move this google notebook a little into this place yeah so i have a google uh, notebook here and I've already uh, installed that uh, collab, sorry, the ChatGPT for Google Collab plugin. Now, I would like to use this uh, example to explain this code. So I'm going to, I'm, I, I will move my mouse over that cell. As soon as I move my mouse over the, over the cell, you should see that ChatGPT icon, not the, not the code and text icon, but the ChatGPT icon just slightly below it, if you notice it here. Right, so the chat GPT icon, click on that and uh, let me choose a task. Like I said, there are a couple of tasks chat GPT can help you with. I'll go for explain for now. <clears throat> and it comes up with some text already. So please provide a markdown formatted explanation. This should include a de detailed description of what the code does. But I'll start with, I do not understand what the Lambda function is especially within the context of a sort function for my dictionary. Uh, so I'll say this should include, um, let me type that in. I can change the command here. An explanation of the lambda function, comma, blah, 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 the detailed description of what the code does and all that. So I'll say include code and I'll click on submit. And we are getting ChatGPT's uh, explanation. Let's look at this. This code snippet demonstrates the use of sort, which is there, right? Uh, to sort a list of dictionaries based on a specific key. I have a key, right? Inside the key, there's, um, there is a, a call for the Lambda function. Let me see if it's even mentioned here. Yes, the key parameter is provided to specify the criteria for sorting. In this case, the lambda function is used as the key. The lambda function takes an input x and returns the value associated with the key. 
count in the dictionary. So this, this is what the lambda function does. It takes an input x and returns the value. Let's see if there's a detail, a little more detailed explanation um, uh, about lambda function, which is what I really wanted. Yeah, there is one, the lambda function. Let me use my, let me use my uh, mouse here. The lambda function used as the key is a concise way to define an anonymous function. So it explains what an anonymous function is. Um, in this case, it extracts the value associated with the key uh, by specifying the lambda function and all that. So good uh, breaking down of the code itself and a good detailed explanation of what the lambda function is. So this is a this is a good example of how you could use ChatGPT within a task. Uh, in this case, in this case, I'm using the explain task, and you could use things like I said, refactoring or simplifying code. You could fix a bug. You could even add comments. Let's uh, let's try add comments for a bit now. Okay. And um, <clears throat> let's see uh, if that works. Add comments. So let me go back to my cell here. Let me see if I can run ChatGPT again. Let's see ChatGPT. Yep. Clean that up. Let's write add comments. Submit. Let's see how good the comments are. Okay. This is it. The uh, comments come back automatically. It's a list which is based sorted on count key, is used as a sorting key. Not bad. This is also a very easy way to write comments. It also points out the parameter I'm using, which is the reverse code of false, which ensures that the sorting order is done in ascending order. So that's uh, pretty much it on how we use um, ChatGPT within the context of a Google Collab Notebook. Thank you.